All right, I want to take a look at uh, a couple more things with the Ant SDR, or at least show a couple more things with the Ant SDR uh, E310 that I have here. Uh, I have it flashed with the firmware that I showed in the last video, and I have it uh, plugged into a DHCP router here on the local network. I also have a USB cable handy that um, I can plug in over the OTG uh, connection that's on it. And then I also have a serial USB, or well, a USB cable plugged into the serial port or the console port that you see over on in the left terminal here that we're going to bring up here in a second. And, uh, and so we'll go through a couple more applications. Uh, I've been testing some things out anyway, so I figured I'd just go ahead and show how to use it. So I'm turning it on. There it is booting up. And uh, what I want to do is the SDR for Space Light application that is included in Dragon OS Focal. I needed to do something anyways with it, so I wanted to show that running with the Ant SDR uh, this time around as opposed to Pluto SDR. So if we go into the user source SDR for space, you're going to see there's an app image there and an examples folder. Uh, just remember the location of the app image. We're, we're going to, you can move things however, around however you like, but uh, I'm going to do this. So we're going to go in the examples RX spectrum and we'll go ahead and do a wide spectrum. Here. And what I want to do is, because that spectrum.gnu file there and the spectrum.js file is there, I am going to do sudo ln-s to create a symbolic link. And we'll just do user source str for space and that app image that we just uh, mentioned. So we're going to say we're going to uh, symbolic link that into the directory we're at now and you can just type it out SDR for space well you could name it really whatever you want as long as it ends in app image or at least I think you can I'm gonna keep it the same here so we're saying take this location in this file and we're gonna make a symbolic link to it right in the directory that we're in so now there you go there it is we also need to, and I'm doing sudo because this is in the user source directory. Let's edit this JS file. And really all you have to change is the um, SOAPY device information here. And I showed it the other day. Really all we need to add is the device, SOAPY0, and then the URI and the IP. And that's because I have it plugged in. Uh, and I want to access it over the gigabyte connection. If you want to do it over USB, well, then you're going to have to change those settings, and uh, I'll show that here in a second. So, all right, there we go. And I want to look at and change these frequencies here. We'll go 470. 608. Control O to save that. Now it, you can see it's going to put a uh, CSV file in the temporary directory and then it's going to pop up uh, an image that we're going to see with GNU plot there. Now if you wanted to do it via USB you could do SOAP utility. Uh, actually no you're not going to be able to do that. I have a Blade RF plugged in but um, yeah, I need to figure out the, uh, I'm missing the um, piece that uh, automatically, I guess, finds the uh, Pluto over the network. So, well, I'll show another way that you can find it. Matter of fact, you can do it like this by just plugging in. And you might even be fine leaving the file like it was because it was kind of set up for the Pluto anyways. So I've got it plugged in there, so you might be fine leaving it the way it was. I'm going to unplug this. Okay, and let's do that forward slash SDR for space light app image. Do a dash, dash, dash H, 
and all we should need to do is the dash F in the spectrum.js. This is going to do a wide spectrum uh, plot of those frequencies, just like this. So we can see it connected on the serial port there. It's going down through the frequencies, and there is our plot that it created. You can hover over it and see the frequencies in the bottom left and the strength, RISI value. And if you go into temp directory, there's that CSV file. And there is all the frequencies and the power. Or receive strength. Okay. And I'm going to save that to the desktop. All right, so that is uh, a way that you can use SDR uh, for space, the light application with the NSDR. There's some other scripts in here. If you just wanted a simple spectrum plot, <clears throat> you can capture uh, IQ. So there's uh, some other scripts in there, but that just shows you how to get going with that. Let's take a look at... Um, All right, well, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to set up uh, Yate BTS because I want to show GRGSM. So, of course, you know, take whatever precautions are necessary uh, when you're transmitting. Either have a Faraday cage or something set up. And it's been a little while, so let me think here. We need to start up Apache. All right, so I pulled up Apache, I pulled up a browser, and uh, went to localhost uh, forward slash NIPC. And what we'll do here is look at our BTS configuration. I'm going to put it on 900. And we'll come down here. I'll just select the first frequency. Country code one. Okay, I think that's all we need. If we come over into another window, we do our blade RF CLI. Okay. And we'll do eight. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to run eight. And we're going to come over. or GSM scanner, but what we're going to do is GRGSM scanner B, we'll do GSM 900, we'll do dash dash args, let's see, and we'll do this whole thing. V and dash D so we can see what's going on. 
So now this is using the ANT SDR with GRGSN. And there we go. So we've got our, you can see that that works. Uh, let's stop. We'll remember nine, the 935. And if we do GRGSM live mon, and we do dash dash args, paste those same args in again, dash F. 935M let's see we'll do 935 0M okay and now we use GRGSM live mon with the ant SDR and we can see we are receiving the well, the information from the blade RF that's running the 8 BTS the GC, uh, GSM network and and then from there you can mess around I've shown other videos with Yate uh, and that's a whole separate thing but it shows you how to use GRGSM the ant SDR Let's shut this down uh, let's see if we plug in Let's see, USB. Alright, we take a look at Universal Radio Hacker. The first time you open this, you may find that uh, the window goes off the screen, so you might have to come down here right click and maximize as needed just depends uh, but again we can see it we'll choose the Pluto SDR and of course we're using the ANT SDR and USB seems to work fine there's our connection to the ANT SDR over USB Record. Of course, there's nothing really to record. Okay, it'll bring us over here. Should be able to play it back. Let's see, 433. Four three three. Use the blade RF. I think that's pretty good uh, for now. Actually, let's see. We'll take a look at one more thing. User source. Check out. Uh, let's see. Check out something good new radio related. GR-RDS in the examples. 
we'll do GNU Radio Companion RDS RX. So we'll search for uh, Pluto SDR source. We'll connect this up. Actually, let me see. Let's try this a second, I think. Let's try an Osmocom source. You might have to hit apply OK a couple times to make sure the changes take. Let's see. We want SAMP rate. It's fine. Do freak tune to line up with the variable here. Gain, we'll try those gains. So, all right, let's see. Save it to our desktop. Well, let's take the let's connect the gain. Just do it manually for now. So there's um, GRRDS, uh, well, really GNU Radio uh, with the ANT SDR. The, you, I'm sure you can use the uh, Pluto SDR source as well. I just can't remember off the top of my head uh, setting that up. So, all right, there you go. There's a few more things with the uh, ANT SDR. All right, thanks.